Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are featuring the new Chanel Ultra Wear Shine Liquid Lip Colors. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. So this just arrived in the mail, so I thought we would open it together. Some samples here. We've got a couple of the Ultra Wear Shine Liquid Lip Colors. I have one in 64 and 62, so let's open it. So this is a shade number 64. It's a pretty pink color, a little bit of just a slight berry tone to it. The applicator is a bit angled. The wider on one side, thinner on the other. Nothing too unusual. And then we also have 62 still. This one's a bit lighter, a bit more neutral, subdued, more subtle. We're gonna go ahead and swatch this one. So I'll put a look together, we'll try them both, and I will do a wear test with one of them. Okay, let's get to the lip product. First liquid lipstick, so it's a liquid lipstick that combines satin shine and ultra long wearing color from morning to night. Clinical evaluation, it says, of 21 women, lasts up to 12 hours. Let's go ahead and apply this one. And I really like this color because it's like the lighter shades of my lips, but then kind of evened out. And it's not too shiny. I actually didn't want something that was super, super shiny. So this is a really pretty shade. And this again is number 62. Actually it kind of reminds me of the Clay de Peau. Their liquid lip products. Actually, these two colors remind me of the ones that I um, got from Clay de Peau. So let me, I'll take those out in a minute and compare. But here is this color number again, 62. Okay, I'm gonna remove that. Got some micellar water here. That's a really pretty color. Removed quite easily with the micellar water. Okay, let's go in with number 64. <laughs> like everything else I'm picking, I can't really see what the color truly is from online. So these are just best guesses. <laughs> okay, this is more pink than I thought it would be. I noticed I'm needing to put a little bit extra on to even out just the tone of my lips. I don't use a lip liner. That would probably help just in case you wanted to use this by itself, but I don't want to put too much on either. 
So far they're really comfortable. It's around noon, so I don't think I'm gonna wear this for 12 hours, but I will wear it as long as I can and then do check-ins in between and see if there's anything, any changes. But I, I think we'll go with the deeper color just so we can kind of see it a little bit easier. Um, really comfortable right now. I'm a little bit concerned though it's going to feel a little dry after a little bit and if I can add anything like a gloss or some kind of lip balm on top, I might do that depending on how it goes because we'll see how long I can last because usually I'm putting some kind of lip balm on during the day. And because it's winter, it's usually by Terry Balm de Rose, something really, really heavy duty in terms of a lip balm. But so far, I think these colors are pretty. This is just a little bit more pink than I intended, but I still think it looks nice. Checking in at six hours of where I just powdered in the center of my face, but I haven't done anything in terms of adding any kind of hydration. It's just as it was when I first applied it. So I just wanted to read what it said because I looked it up. It says it's infused with two types of polymers to preserve color intensity and help lock in hydration. So let's just take a look at the color really quick. I don't know if it's as intense, but it looks really good. Like it's really even. I have eaten. If you're here for Vlogmas, I did make the pecan tassies and I made, I think 12. And my husband says he ate three, which means I've eaten almost nine at this point. I think there's one left. <laughs> so um, that's what I had. I wiped my mouth off with a napkin. This is what was left. It feels really comfortable. I don't feel the need to add any kind of lip balm. I thought I would. It says water resistant formula features a creamy fluid texture that glides on smoothly, which it did and lasts up to 12 hours and lips feel comfortable for up to eight hours. So I have a couple more hours to see if it still feels comfortable. I will eat dinner between now and the eight hour mark. So we're gonna see how that goes. In case you were interested in that clinical evaluation, it says clinical and instrumental evaluations of the 21 women, 21 women were by self-assessment. So the women did a self-assessment, it sounds like, to arrive there. Also, I did mention the clay de peau. So I pulled those so we could kind of look at them. They really remind me of each other. I haven't tried the clay de peau for a while, but even the packaging looks similar. I mean, this is not like a comparison video, but it just came to mind as I was applying them and just the feel of the um, two <laughs> are very similar. So this is one sepia or sepia. And then again, we're gonna compare it with the one I have here, which is still. And I pulled some other things just in case you were interested and things you might have just for reference. So this is the Chanel color is still. The clay de peau color, sepia, sepia, is a lighter color and it's got more brightness to it. I thought we could try some of the other Chanel colors in case you have them and you wanna reference. This is timeless beige up here on top. So if you like timeless beige, and you want just a little bit more pink, then that's the color of still. So this is tender beige right here, and I thought it looked really similar, so I put it side by side. So we've got tender beige here and still. Yeah, these are very close. And then my favorite, it's, I need to order a new one. We've got endless pink, tender beige, timeless beige, and then we have still, and then we have the clay de peau color. Thought we could look at 64. So here's 64. And it reminded me of the other clay de peau that I have, but this is a matte finish. This is clay de peau in Midnight Magic, so it's a deeper color. Again, a different finish as well, more matte. And then I thought it looked a little bit like 43. So this is 43 right here. And then this is number 64. I think you might ask me what's the difference now between these La Rouge duos and this. I'm trying to figure out really where these fall in different purposes for me so far. These are really more like a longer wear, I wanna say, because I feel like this color really adheres and then you put the gloss on. Plus it's a glossier finish because of the gloss. I think feel like I misinterpreted this product because it's the Ultra Wear Shine Liquid Lip Color. I think in my mind it was Ultra Shine Liquid Lip Color. I was expecting it to be really shiny. Yeah, it's more of a satiny kind of finish. So. I thought it was going to be glossier than this, but actually, in fact, with the gloss, this is glossier than this. So if you, maybe that's where this fits in. If you like this, but it's too much shine for you because you add the gloss, this is not as shiny. So it might be more like a lipstick look with a longer wear. 
So I'm thinking maybe that's where it falls in. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> but we're gonna check in in a couple more hours and see how this looks. Back for an eight hour check-in. I just wanted to show you this is not transfer proof. So just in case you were wondering, so every time I used a napkin, some of the product did get transferred onto the napkin. I don't believe there was a transfer proof, transfer proof claim but I just wanted to share that in case you were wondering. I've had dinner, used a napkin, had plenty of hot tea and water, and I feel like the color is pretty much gone at this point. And again, we're at eight hours, so I don't think I would make it to the 12 hour mark because it said it lasts up to 12 hours. It also says lips feel comfortable up to eight hours. I feel like at this point they either need a lip balm or a lip gloss or reapplication. I think the six hour mark was good for me. It was actually still comfortable at that point, but between then and now, it may have been because I've eaten and used a napkin that I feel like I need more hydration at this point. You know, it did wear evenly though, so that I think that's really important with any of these long wears that it does wear evenly. I also did want to mention the foundation combination that I had here because I really liked it. Because BD51 is slightly warm for me and Medium Plus is slightly cool, so together they worked really well. I really like the shade that came out as well as adding a little bit of the Chantecai Radiance Elixir. It kind of thinned it out a little bit and gave it a little bit more radiance. As for these, they're very nice. I like the colors that I chose. I'm not quite sure how they will fit into the routine yet because if they're anything like the Clay de Poe items that I talked about, I didn't use them as much. So I was surprised though when I got these that I use them as much as I do now, so we'll see how these work into the routine. But I'd love to know if you've tried them, do you love them, are there shades that you think I should get? I would love to know. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.